tell us what a typical news conference would be like in the Oval Office with FDR? Well, they were 20 to 30 minutes. They, there were only perhaps 40 or 50 reporters there. We all stood in a semicircle around his desk, uh, two rows. There was a room for everybody to stand in that formation. He would recognize one of the wire service reporters uh, first, as a rule. That, that, in fact, is still the custom at White House press conferences, either the AP or the UP, or as it then was, the INS. And uh, the questions would tend to be quite brief. They weren't the kind of performances we see now by the TV correspondents. And the press, I think, had a more uh, modest view of itself. It didn't consider, the journalists didn't consider themselves equal protagonists with the president, which I think various of the TV correspondents tend to do these days, and uh, consider that they are also putting on an important performance. I think in the FDR press conferences, the purpose of questions was basically to elicit information from the president. He was a master of not saying anything more than he wanted to. I don't think he ever was uh, trapped into a anything uncalculated on his part. He could also construct beautiful uh, smoke screens to lead you away from something he didn't want to talk about. And then at the end, it was customary for uh, the senior reporter present, uh, the dean of the corps, so to speak, to say thank you, Mr. President, and that even though some people might still be uh, aspiring to ask more questions, that, that was it. Yes. But one reason that people didn't uh, clamor for more after the 20 or 30 minutes w was up was because there were two press conferences a week. Uh, Franklin Roosevelt had something like uh, 900 press conferences during his uh, time in office, uh, which compared with the present pace of six or seven a year is quite staggering. So if you didn't get your question on Tuesday, you might have another chance to work it in on Friday. Yes. Is it true that you could never quote the president directly? Yes, unless it was explicitly uh, provided that you could. Everything was indirect. You could you could quote his, his his language quite exactly, but you didn't put it in quotes. So it it left him free, if necessary, to deny that he said that. <laughs> then, on rare occasions, either he would say himself, "You can you can put that in quotes." or his press secretary, Steve Early, would spread the word among us afterward that his answer to such and such a question can be used in direct quotes. Yes. But that was fairly rare, actually.